Hey guys, Future J here. Uh, today, we are releasing the beta, that is coming, and today's video is all about all the cool new features in the beta, including a whole new mission type. Um, but very quick announcement from the future, as I was editing this video, I have decided that uh, on the date for my live stream for this game. So the game is going up, you can download it starting today and play uh, the beta version, um, but if you want to know how to make maps, how to make campaigns, how to edit units, how to put in your own graphics, how to do all sorts of cool stuff with the game, with the engine. I will be doing a live stream on January 29th. Um, I'm going to put uh, a, a, a live stream announcement on my channel. So if you come back to the channel, you can see that it's scheduled. Um, but it'll be January 29th. And uh, during that live stream, we will make maps. We will make campaigns. We'll look at game triggers, unit uh, data sheets, all that stuff, and I will show you where to go if you want to customize your own Battle Mercs experience. So, without that, I'm going to turn it back over to Pass Jay because uh, I made this video uh, several days back, and he will announce the game, show it off, and uh, you know, glory to all you would be mercenaries out there. Have fun with it, guys. Guys. Today is the big one. If you've been watching these Battletech videos over the last two weeks, you know that I've uh, been playing a game that I myself uh, was developing and working on in the summer, and it kind of fell to the side. Um, but in replaying the game, um, I've sort of got back into developing it. And there have been a lot of changes over the course of this video. Uh, or this video series and even today you're going to see some even bigger changes but the big announcement is if you are watching this the beta version of the game the current version that you're going to see played here today is downloadable right now look in the description below and you will find the download link you could be a battle merc starting today and with that let me tell you about some of the big, cool new features that have been added into the game uh, since last time you saw, because I'm really excited about some of the new um, additions. Um, okay, so we got some minor things like the bartender. Um, you guys will see. Uh, he used to offer like just sort of very basic dialogue options, but I actually decided to modify him so that when you talk to the bartender on any planet, he will give you a series of tips. Some of the tips you've seen in the video here I've been bestowing on you guys, but for people who don't watch these videos, the bartender will be a good source of tips and add some fun flavor to the game. Um, arena bets. If you go to Solaris and you bet on existing matches, normally or, or previously the opponents just sort of wandered around aimlessly until they eventually encountered each other no more i have updated the ai in arenas and the ai does a lot better at finding the other team and ambushing them so the arena matches go better they're more interesting they're faster to watch um another big announcement vehicles vehicles are in the game uh, fun fact, vehicles have been in the game for a while. Um, they just weren't actually put into any missions. But um, I believe even the version that uh, currently existed before the new version today um, did have vehicles. So uh, vehicles are actually now in some missions, and you guys will see. And feeding off of that, there's a whole new mission type in the game now called escort missions, and this is where vehicles come in. For escort missions, the emphasis is on having a maneuverable uh, force. So in playing over the last week or two, I've noticed that my MO is to take assault mechs and heavy mechs into basically every fight. And with that strategy, you can mostly win every fight. I mean, it's not ideal in certain kinds of maps, but... Um, escort missions are a whole new animal. There is a convoy of trucks and light vehicles traveling across the map that you have to protect. If you bring in a bunch of assault mechs, you'll fall behind, the convoy will get taken out. You need to focus on light, medium, and maybe a couple heavy mechs, and enemies will try and ambush you from all directions. It's actually a really fun new mission, and I'm super excited to show it off for you guys here today. So escort missions... Um, and by the way, there's different classes of escort missions. So the light version, you're uh, dealing with a convoy of trucks traveling across the map. On heavier convoy type missions, you actually are protecting like an assault lance that's traveling across the map. And you might think, well, how much defense does an assault lance need? 
just wait till you see the forces that come from all directions to try to take it out. You do have to, like, be running around the map trying to protect this assault lance as it moves. So, whole new mission type there as well. Um, I also significantly overhauled uh, some of the core code uh, to improve frame rates. I did some more code optimizations. I fixed some more bugs with saving. Um, also, I noticed uh, in the previous video that the clan ER medium lasers had their heat and damage reversed. So they only did five damage, but cost seven heat. So I flipped that in the correct direction um, so that they're actually good weapons again. Um, I can't think of any more changes. There's probably a few more. We will discover them as we play. Without further ado, let's do this. All right. So I think save scum was our save file. Now, this will probably be the last video in this ongoing Let's Play Battle Mercs series. Um, you know, I'm open to playing more Battle Mercs in future, but I mean, the last two weeks, pretty much every video on my channel has been Battle Mercs. So I, I want to get back to, you know, other games as well. Even though I've been having a lot of fun with this, not to toot my own horn since it's in my own, it is in my own game. But the other thing is, as I've said, as you've been watching this series, every time I play Battle Mercs, I spend one or two hours playing it, and then like five or six hours adding new features, fixing bugs. You know, it's the, it's the developer's curse that we've talked about. You literally can't enjoy your own creation because you're constantly just encountering things you need to fix, and then you have to go uh, and fix them. So uh, this will be the last video because basically I, I can't keep neglecting all my other responsibilities in life. You know, my family, my work, everything. Uh, like literally today, I, I, I literally just sort of pieced out of most of my responsibilities and spent the day coding to try and get uh, a bunch of final features working. And uh, I, I've been struggling to add features into the game while not adding more ideas to the to-do list. So yeah, it's... Uh, you know, a long time coming, but uh, this will be the last uh, the last video that we do, um, probably for a little while. I'm not saying I'll never do one again, but just for a little while. Anyway, so when last we met, um, <clears throat> I had just, I think, bought a whole bunch of cool new mechs. I was flying around. Actually, I, I didn't buy cool new mechs. I instead, what was I doing? I was looking for auto cannon 20s or something. It's been a couple days. <laughs> Um, so I kind of forget what I was doing, but I did play another contract or two after I signed off. I just, I couldn't help myself. However, today it's all about seeing the new stuff. So we are going to fly around and uh, we're going to try and get into combat right away and try out an escort mission if we could find one. Escort missions are also mixed into long-term contracts. Um, they're defensive style missions, so like a frontline offensive campaign you wouldn't necessarily see um <clears throat> excuse me you wouldn't necessarily see um a, an escort mission but if, for defensive contracts you definitely would uh base assault so we'll do a couple missions today i feel like today might actually be our shortest video i guess you guys know now you're looking at the timestamp of this so maybe <laughs> maybe i got really into it and <clears throat> excuse me I uh, became a liar, but uh, I feel like today we're just going to show off some of the, the final features, and I'm feeling really good about where the game is. I mean, there's still some things I would love to fix. Uh, by the way, let's speak to the bartender real quick. There's still some things that I, I want to fix, and I'm not done by any means, but in terms of uh, putting a pin in it and you know going back to my life responsibilities for a bit, this is like the main updated version that we'll have for uh, the next little while. Um, but anyway, if you say I'm looking for some mechs, head to Outreach. It's home to, uh, for all you mercs, right? They have mechs of all sizes over there. Yes, prices are high, but they carry everything. So there's a little tip for you if you're looking for mechs. You can talk to them again. If you're having trouble getting the exact mech you want, you might consider checking out the speed shop over in the mech at lube. Sometimes you've got a mech that's close enough with a few weapon swaps. It's precisely what you need. There you go. There's another tip. If you're looking for the best of the best, I would head to the Central Worlds. Prices go up, of course, but you'll find much better mechs for sale than you'll find on your average backwater planet. So lots of little tips there. You can talk to him to your heart's content if you want. I think there's like 10 or 12 tips he'll throw your way. Um, but I thought that was sort of a fun little uh, feature in the game. So that people who play this who don't watch, <laughs> you know, the eight-hour videos that I've made over the past two weeks, 
still kind of know what the heck is going on. Uh, frontline combat. We will do some frontline combats. We will fight some clans. I really would love to get some cool clan salvage. But uh, I really also want to try and do an escort mission because I think it would be really fun. Um, defense, defense, intercept. Jeez. <laughs> Cannot find it. Um, also, by the way, I've been running the game in um, debug mode. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, uh, uh, for all the previous videos. Today I'm running it in non-debug mode. So you might notice. Oh, here we go. Escort a supply co convoy. This is against scout mechs. Notice that for the, these escort missions, you usually are able to bring as many mechs as you want. There's a high unit capacity. But the tonnage capacity you will see makes things challenging. I'm just going to accept as is. I'm not going to negotiate this any which way. Um, and actually, do I have fast enough mechs is the question. Because I do have a lot of assault mechs. <laughs> should see if I can grab uh, ooh, a griffin. Actually, that is just what I need. Even though it's 16 million, I'm going to buy it. And I'll repair this baby up. Um, but yeah, you'll probably notice that the frame rate is higher today than it has been. Um, and that's because when you run a program in debug mode, uh, it just runs slower because you have the debugger running in the background, which is necessary to help you track down uh, bugs, obviously. Um, but uh, this will be more the speed that the game will run when you guys get it. So you'll be able to see it here in action. And uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah. So I did do some optimizations in the code. There were a few places I was being very lazy that I forgot I was being lazy. And I guess back in the day, I was like, yeah, I'll get back to this eventually. And then I just literally never came back to it. So uh, when I was developing, you'll see these escort missions. They have more units on the map than any other mission we've seen today. It's really interesting, but they're not necessarily assault mechs. So I'm hoping you guys will find this kind of cool. Um, I'm looking for relatively fast mechs, mechs with jump jets, by the way, but I feel like I field very slow mechs in general, so this is going to be interesting. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so there were so many mechs on the battlefield that literally I almost don't even want to tell you what frame rate I... Oh, I'll tell you. I was getting a frame rate of between 4 and 8 frames a second when I was running this in debug mode, and that, as you know, is awful. It is virtually unplayable when i ran the game not in debug mode that frame rate jumped up to a whopping 20 but that was still or actually no i think it was 15 it was still quite bad it was doable and then what would happen is as you kill units on the battlefield the frame rate would pop back up and then eventually hit like the 40s and 50s and eventually 60 um, but that that was that's really bad though, right? Like that's that's a problem. So what I did is I went and I looked at the some of the basic unit code that I had in there, and it was sort of there was a lot of areas uh, prime for improvement, no rec capacity, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> so I fixed up a lot of code, and I got it so that when you're running in um, uh, when you're running in sorry, I just had to think for a second. When you're running in debug mode, you're you're playing at about 30 frames a second on these missions, and when you're not in debug mode, it's like 40 to 50, and then 60 as mechs start to drop off the battlefield a bit. So it's much more playable. Still not as high as I'd like it to be, and there's probably areas to improve in future. But, uh, you know, as far as playability goes, it's very playable. So Anyway, I've been trying to select... Oh, I got a legendary pilot, by the way. Um, Kinnear finally became legendary. Um, I've been trying to select mechs that are maneuverable and lighter. I just don't happen to have a ton of lighter mechs. So oddly enough, my like assault crew is badly built for these escort missions. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how we do. Because even though we have a lot of firepower, if we can't keep up with the convoy, it's just going to get wiped out and we're going to lose. <laughs> So anyway, we got 12 units. Uh, let's check our map here. We have a supply convoy moving through this region. Enemy forces will attempt to destroy it. Convoy's destination will be marked in green on the map. To be compensated, you must uh, at least 75% of the convoy must survive. All right. So here's our convoy. This time it's a bunch of trucks. It can be trucks, APCs, all sorts of things. 
Um, actually, why is it damaged? That looks like a bug. All right, we're spotting a bug already. Um, these, by the way, are uh, these hunchbacks. These, oh God, that, <laughs> that hunchback is uh, just for show. He doesn't have his auto cannon 20. These hunchbacks are NPCs. They are going to guard the convoy. Um, and they will basically just do their best to uh, keep an eye on it for you. So on these escort missions, you actually get some neutral house units that will carry on on the convoy and try and uh, keep your guys safe. All right, so enemies will start to try and raid this convoy from all directions, so we'll kind of have to keep an eye out. We have so many beagle probes, though, it'll be pretty easy to detect them. Um, and our game just crashed. <laughs> Nothing like a good crash to start us off right. That's okay, we'll find, uh, find another mission. In fact, we need to buy some, like, uh, some lighter mechs. So it's maybe a blessing in disguise. <laughs> but, uh, you know what, you know what crashed at that time? <clears throat> it was the Raven that we had. It, uh, I, I revamped, uh, some of the core code, as I told you, uh, and the Raven actually had a Guardian ECM, and there was, uh, a bad line in the ECM check. And that was crashing the game. So I'm glad I detected it rather than sending this game out for you fine folks to play and for you guys to find. We'll buy that Phoenix Hawk because that's a decent medium mech. Try and grab a couple of medium mechs if we can. Um, oh, I need to be checking contracts too. I kind of forgot. I've just I've gone back into my my black market uh, mentality. Looking for mechs. All right, uh, interception, reinforcements, nope. <clears throat> well, you know, better that I find the bug than you guys, because at least if I find it, I can fix it right away. If you guys found that, you'd have to email me. It's this whole thing, you know. <clears throat> it would take a little while for me to respond. Okay, in the interest of having fun today, since it's our, it is our last... Day, I'm going to full on our no cheating game <laughs> could for for a couple of videos has not been able to legitimately be called a no cheating game. Uh, we're, we're we're definitely straight up cheating at this point. Well, that's OK. I think I'll even pick up that hostel. And that'll be like a good mix of. Uh, oops, good mix of lighter max. Throw 30 million on this bad boy. Uh, give me the hostel too. I don't want to like cheat so profusely that I'm just buying everything because it kind of feels like what's the point then? Um, like there, there's fun in challenge. Um, here we go. So this is, ooh, these would be slightly heavier forces, a skirmish force. All right. But definitely not getting what you want all the time makes things more fun. Okay, so 840 tons. I think it was sort of like a medium. I mean, we can just throw our pilots in now because we know, you know we're going to take all these guys. You, 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 you. And we're just throwing people in based on skill, man. Nope. You and you. And now is anyone super weak? Okay, we're going to replace you. All right, that's pretty good. <clears throat> all right Let's scroll down here um i think having a couple griffins was kind of cool and maybe a phoenix hawk and something else with jump jets like fire so this is our mobility crew and i'm gonna bring the ravens just so i can test that guardian ecm code um and i'll bring the wolf hounds i got two of those i think um, oh, actually, we're very underweight here. We could go higher in terms of weight. Okay, so let's bring our Austal. Oh, we definitely should bring our Man of War because he's pretty fast. I mean, five is not that fast, but convoys don't move. The, the fastest a convoy will move is speed four, and all the units in the convoy will respect that. So even if you have light mechs and stuff escorting your convoy, like NPC light mechs, they won't run off ahead and like screw you. They'll move at a decent rate. <clears throat> um, okay, so we can bring a lot more weight. The problem is just going to be keeping up. 
Okay, well, if we're going to bring speed four, we might as well go with the heaviest fours we got. Like uh, a Banshee, I guess. And how about an awesome? We'll replace our, place something over here. This Wolfhound is getting upgraded to an awesome. <laughs> And then, oh, but the Wolfhounds are speed three. I actually do want those. <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting because now I can bring all the weight I want, but it's almost like speed is going to be quite important because being maneuverable is handy. Okay, I guess I'll just replace the Crusader with something. Um, I guess with an Archer of some kind. Or no, a grasshopper. Because at least he has jump jets. Okay, uh, you know what? We're underweight. <clears throat> but, you know, if we lose, we lose. All right, well, um, here's one more feature, by the way. This is a new feature. Somebody requested it in the Discord, and I was like, actually, I don't know why that's not in the game already. You can uh, click with the middle mouse button and drag the mouse, and it will, like, move the map around now. So I like to use W, A, S, and D to scroll, but if you just want to scroll with your mouse, you don't like using the keys, the keyboard, you can do it this way. So there you go. It's a nice new little feature for people who uh, who may want it. Um, all right. So enemy forces have landed. Oh, let's check out. We're actually escorting. So the units that are silver, these are your actual escorts. And then the house-colored units are your, your NPC escorts. So the blue units can die. It doesn't matter. If, it's, if this was a Draconis Combine mission, these would be red units. If we were working for the Capellans, these would be green. So the escorts will always be colored the same as the house, and the actual convoy is neutral colored, uh, the same as all my units are. <clears throat> but anyway, let's uh, take some of these guys down here. Oh my god. Did it just crash again? One day... This game will work. It's hilarious how it's like, Oh, it's perfectly done. I should like show everybody the game now. And then it's like I go to play it. It's like, crash, 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 crash. Uh, serves me right. Or existing, I guess. I don't know. It was another bug in the ECM code. Uh, you know what's funny is I made that ECM code change at the end and I looked it over and it all looked good. And it's like I never have mechs with ECM, so it didn't even occur to me that it wasn't working. I, I played the game for a little bit and all was working, so I'm like, oh, it's great, ready to play. Uh, but again, better it's doing this with me than you guys, right? Am I right? Um. Okay. Enforcer. It's like going back in time to get an enforcer now. Uh, local garrison. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, They were all elimination. For a second, I thought it was... Uh, never mind, you don't know what it want, I want to thought. It doesn't make sense now that I think about it. Um, No good max. So, even though twice in a row we've started the mission and twice in a row it's crashed, um, I could cheat and take this. I just did the cheat to make it cheaper. But no, actually, I'm, I'm in the market for medium mechs. So, I've long liked the idea that assault mechs, as fun as they are, they're not just the go-to de facto mech that you take on a mission. And I've liked the idea that like medium and heavy mechs, like they're cheaper, they're, uh, you know, faster, they have their own uses. And like sometimes they're better than an assault mech. But as I say, for the missions that currently exist, besides intercept missions, for most missions, it's fine to take mostly heavy and assault mechs. Although you do want to like balance speed a little bit. Um, but one of the reasons why I think I'm... I, I keep talking it up, but I'm so happy that escort missions are in the game now, is I feel like with escort missions, if you take all assault mechs, you will lose, despite the fact that you have so much firepower. Like, you really need that maneuverability. And I like that. I, I like the fact that, 
you know, the the medium mechs now have a purpose. Um, and I have an idea for a couple other mission types. And again, I I legit have to put a pin in working on this, guys, because you know, I just I don't have the the bandwidth in my life <laughs> to work as hard as I've been working on this the last two weeks forever. Um, but I am happy that we got to a point where it basically is a playable beta. Pin in the fact that it has crashed twice in a row. Put a pin in that because I think f- fingers crossed we got we got a stew going now, baby. You baby, you got a stew, um, and I feel like this is the one. It's not going to crash, and just in case it does, I'm going to remember to save <clears throat> before we actually go into our mission. Um. But yeah, the idea that you have to have a mix of units, I think, is really fun and really cool. And uh, for medium mechs to not just be completely outclassed by assault mechs is is really fun, I think. And it will add a new dimension to this game. So um, hopefully you guys agree. And if you don't, then go into the game's code and turn off the escort missions, because fuck them. <laughs> um... No, I mean, uh, as I've said before, this game is very moddable, and uh, I'll make an announcement about when I'm going to have my uh, uh, sort of uh, live stream where we'll build some missions, I'll go through the game's data files with you and show you where everything is, I'll answer your questions, so you guys can start making your own mission types, making your own levels, making your own campaigns, do whatever you want with it. Do nothing with it if you want, that's fine. It'll be about the same as I'll be doing for the next couple months at least. But uh, at least the option will be there if if you want. Um, and I was thinking about this too. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm like a hobbyist coder. I've made games my whole life just for fun. And this is the most complex game I've ever made. It's also a game I've fantasized about making ever since I was a kid. And I fell in love with the Crescent Hawks games. Um But one thing I always loved as a kid is when I got a game is trying to hack it. (laughs) Like going in and, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take this charger because five and five, it actually might be a useful mech on these, uh, escort missions. The day finally came when a charger was useful. You know, the game has changed quite a bit when a charger is something you're actually, you're legit considering. Um, but yeah, I always like going, digging around in the game's data files, trying to edit them, change them. I used to love making maps for StarCraft and WarCraft and any game that allowed you to mod it, I loved so much. And so every, every game I've ever made, I've always had this philosophy of I'm making a game, but I want all the data files to be unencrypted. I want them to basically be script files that, I mean, it makes it easy for me to develop that way, but it also makes it easy if anyone wants to come in and change things. Um, Because I want anything I ever make to be the kind of game people can tinker with. So you can tinker with my work uh, anytime. Um, I'll show you how. I'll show you how I like it. And then you tinker away um, and have fun with it, really. Um, Okay. Yeah, we cannot get another escort contract. They're not like super rare, but they're also not super common. They're somewhere in between. Oh, I keep pressing escape. No one wants to sell anything else. It's fine. Base assault, elimination. Okay, where's this damn escort mission? Hello, I'm looking for an escort. Not that kind of escort, the battle mech kind. Another charger. I think we might have enough though. I don't want to get greedy. If there was, a, if I can get one more medium mech, like a Phoenix Hawk or something, I'll be happy. Reception, second line, offensive campaign. Yeah, keep the faith, my friends. It'll happen. All right. Check the black market. We have a little loop. Black market. No one's ever looking to sell, though. Harrison, geez, where, <laughs> where are your escort missions? Anything cool for sale here? Ooh, a hatchet, man. Kind of slow, though. Javelin, hmm. 
Centurion. I had a bunch of Centurions and I sold them. Now I'm buying them back because I need the speed. My mechs are repaired. I believe the escort missions are also fairly generous in terms of um, salvage and money. Or they're at least decent. But as you can see, they're not super plentiful, so you're not going to be doing them you know, so much that it's an OP problem. I mean, if you could find one, be happy. Defense, garrison, base assault, second line offensive. You know what I find offensive is lack of escort missions. A stalker, bando, a grand dragon. A Cesar. Oh, awesome. I really want that, but I don't have enough money for it, and I'm not in the market for mechs that big anymore. I mean, I am, but, uh, you know. <sighs> when the game you yourself make will not cooperate with you. Let's buy a Vulcan, just so we have another medium, speedy mech. It, it's it's so interesting how like literally this one mission type is making me consider mechs I never would have purchased before. Mechs that I like look at and would laugh at. Now I'm like, oh, they actually have a use. Anything good? Nope. Only have one million in the bank anyway. Come on. Long-term campaign. Escort Command Lance. Oh, that's going to be uh, escorting heavy units. I'll take it, though. Um, just out of curiosity. Locust, Cicada, Goliath, Wolf Trap. And nobody's looking to sell. All right, where was that mission? Imagine it's gone now. That doesn't work that way. Um, ooh, and we're also, this will be against, uh, oh, Force of Pirates. I was going to say against Clan Jade Falcon, but I was looking over here. Let's take the mission. And, uh, let's rock it. Oh, save game. Let's put in the temp slot. And let me just check the console real quick. Okay, it looks like the game saved correctly. I'm, I'm paranoid that there's more bugs in this game. You know, I wish I could do a better job at hunting all that. Like, I feel so guilty that I put this out and there's bugs and stuff. Like the version I'm playing now where I've fixed a ton of stuff still has game breaking bugs that we're encountering fresh every time. I, basically every time I make changes, I discover some bugs. The version that I put out that people were playing for months, you know, that I, I put out in the summer and then I haven't had time to update since, that thing had a bunch of bugs too. So it's like, if you were playing that version, I sincerely apologize if like the game was like crashing on you and all sorts of stuff wasn't working for you. Like that sucks. I, I wish I was better at catching them. I, and, and I try, as you guys see in these videos, I'm trying. It's just, you know what? It's like, you can't test for everything. So it's like, it seems like everything is working. You're like, all right, it's perfect. I'm going to start recording today's video. And then the very first thing you try is like you put a raven into combat and you hadn't put ravens into combat and it's ECM crashes the whole game, <laughs> right? So it's like, how do you anticipate that? Um, and it's like, you could say, well, just test everything, Jay. But it's like, I'm a one man team, man. There's like literal limits to what a single person can do, you know? Again, I wish I, I, wish I could do better at it. It just, it's tough. So yeah, I feel guilty about it sometimes, but... Um, then I remember you people are getting a freaking sweet game for free and I don't feel guilt. No, I'd still feel a little guilty. Um, <clears throat> guess we'll take the awesome as well. And I will replace a light mech. That mongoose. You're getting upgraded, buddy. <laughs> From a mongoose to an awesome. All right, that's good enough. I think it'll be fine. Throw our cruise in. Hopefully for the last time. If it crashes again. And I was going to say I'll be so sad, but actually I won't. 
I, I half expect it to crash one more time. Three, three times a try, right? But this time we saved our game after we found the uh, escort mission. <clears throat> so we should be good. All right. Third time's a charm. Enemy forces have landed. All right. I see some enemies hiding in that base. Take them out before they have a chance to ambush our uh, escorts here. Or our convoys. All right. So you kind of have to keep an eye. The, the battle is quite hectic. But we'll just sort of keep an eye on the enemy reinforcements. So my, my convoy is slowly moving... Kind of moving in this direction, so okay, there's their evac point. The evac points are somewhat randomly decided, but they will usually be within sort of a, a specific zone or, or region. So there, there's not that much variability in where they will go. But uh, you gotta watch those stragglers there. They're falling behind. A couple of grasshoppers here. Make short work of them. More enemies are incoming. Jeez. They're coming from all directions here. Oh. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Super fast. Like, oh, we got a whole lance down here. Oh, shoot. No, they're going to take out the cataphract. Get in there. Defend him. Defend him. Oh, it's chaos. It is absolute chaos. Did we lose anyone? I can't even tell. Oh, we did lose one. Shoot. Oh, they're going to take out another one, too. Back off. Back off. <laughs> Just like a hail of gunfire. Okay. I think we only lost one. Technically, I believe it will still end up being a successful contract. But let's see. So that actually was pretty easy, all things considered. Um, I think it's because we have elite pilots and the Steiners like us, so they were giving us pretty generous deployments. Convoy made it through successfully. Oh my god, we just get a full seizure. Uh, a Caesar. Not a seizure, a Caesar. Um, we'll take that. And we don't really need anything else, so uh, I guess I'll just fully repair one of these guys. And I really don't know what else. I'm not even going to bother to take that as internal components because the effort of dragging it from one side of the map to the <laughs> one side of the screen to the other is too much. I think all my repairs are like uh, under a million except for that Caesar. So we got a delicious Caesar salad out of that. Save the game again. Um, yeah, so that, that was a basic escort mission. Um, okay, nobody. They still may need a little balancing. So one thing... Ooh, this is against... Okay... We want to go against Clan Wolf. We want the salvage. Um, one thing that uh, I may change in like a small update is just balancing, uh, you know, the... Uh, what this they do with this? Yeah. Um, balancing the contracts a little bit because uh, the escort missions may be a little too generous at some levels. I think the light version is very well balanced and the assault version is well balanced. That, as you saw, that was sort of a heavy slash medium one. That might have been a little easy. So there might be a little more balancing to do. But uh, for the most part, um, I like the chaos of the escort mission. And like, as you saw, I thought it was going easy, but we still lost a unit. And if you're a little sloppier, you will lose two or three, and before you know it, you've lost the mission. So it goes faster than you think. You kind of have to really stay on your toes. Um, okay, I want to bring... I'm going to bring my awesome this time. And I'll throw it here, and I want to bring... I'll bring my Zeus. Ah, oh, perfectly. Perfect. 680 tons exactly. All right, so the enemy is going to go there and there. Oh, God. Okay, that is a bug. All right, well, this is just going to make it really challenging to actually intercept all the enemies. Because they could be going for any of these spots. 
So the game is supposed to narrow it down to one to two evac points, not leave it at four. <laughs> Oh god. They're just gonna all get by me, aren't they? Oh, I don't know why that guy didn't go... Oh god, there we go. I don't know why that guy didn't go for the easy exit, but... Helps us out. I actually wish I had a bunch of beagle probes now so that I could keep uh keep tabs on uh a wider range of territory. More enemies incoming. Okay. Oh he damaged my clan ERPPC, you bastard. Yeah, this is pretty easy, actually. Although probably a bunch- maybe a bunch of units just ran right by me and I didn't even notice. This is, uh, Fenris. Oh, yeah, those guys are definitely making a buy. Ryokin. Get him! Oh, we actually intercepted over 75% of the enemies. All right, 40% chance. Oh, we got a dragonfly. Sweet. And we'll take a clan ER large laser any day of the week. <clears throat> I think we'll just take money. Easy. Now let's check out this dragonfly that we got. Uh, Banshee. Awesome. Dragonfly Prime. I mean, it's fast. This has really crappy weapons. <laughs> we'll repair it because it's clan tech. But, uh, not super excited about it. Today, I don't know if we're going to mod any mechs. As I say, I think today will be one of the, our shorter uh, plays. We've seen so much in this game, you know? Um, second line combat. I want to take a second line defensive because I'd like to see, uh, some more escort missions. We travel over to Garrison here and see what kind of missions they have. Another fire starter. Too bad we can't afford it. All right. Check contracts. Front line offensive. So let's do one or two long-term, like, let's do one long-term contract that has a good escort or two. Maybe that will be our day. Nice, fun way to end our, uh, our, our Battle Mercs Let's Play series. Except Retreating Forces. So I will take... I would love to do it against the clans, but basically I'll do a, a, a defensive contract of any weight class. I'm not piggy, because I can basically handle almost anything. Defensive supply depot. So escort reinforcements. There's our escort mission. Okay, well, we'll do this while we're waiting. Um, this is a lot of units, though. When they're giving you this much deployment, I'm scared of what kind of forces we're actually going to encounter. But let's go find out. All right. So I'm mostly happy with that. Even though we're underweight, I don't want to go too heavy. Oh, wait. I can bring an extra unit. I just want to make sure I have maneuverability. Um, I'll bring a Victor, because he has jump jets. And a gauze rifle, which I think is cool. There we go. Alright, boys. Enemy assault mechs have landed, so... We have an escort. I think the escort is medium mechs. And we've got crusaders... Quick draws. 
So those are my guys. Okay, so sort of heavy mechs with a medium mech escort. And we've got a mix of sort of assault to medium mechs to defend. So we're pretty good in terms of our weight class. Well, we got a riot and a Ryan and a rifleman. Kind of dancing at the edge of uh, the map. They're having a dance off with us. Guardians of the Galaxy style. Uh, okay, gotta kind of keep an eye here. I'm gonna split my forces up. Thunderbolt there. More dancing enemies. I, I That's a bug I do have to fix at some point, but it's not game-breaking. And I fix the arena so it doesn't happen in the arena. You won't see mechs. <laughs> what was it, the second, the second Let's Play video that we did? We had mechs having a dance-off. Oh shit, they're gonna take out that Crusader. Go, go, go! Where's my backup? Oh, they're coming from every direction. Okay. Oh my god, and they're even over here too. Okay, keep up. Everything's happening so fast. Oh my god, my, the convoy's getting away from me. Bunch of light mechs and a Phoenix Hawk over there. Alright, th I think we have escaped. They more or less escaped, so let's turn around and finish off these pursuing medium mechs. I did lose a battle master. And actually, look, most of my units suffered damage. If this was a long-term contract, this would actually be kind of a tricky mission because we passed it, but we took a heck of a lot of damage. Heck of a lot of beating in the process. But the convoy made it through. Eh. Oh, I got a Jaeger mech. That's fun. I feel like I never... Those salvage things, we've had like 50% chance of salvaging. We've lost it. I never win those rolls. Mm. Throw that on you. And I don't know. There. Um, all right. Patch up my mechs. I think I will just sell the the Jaeger mech. Because honestly, I'm just not a huge fan of them. Or was it there it is? And five and five point seven mils, nothing to shake a stick at. All right. Elimination of patrol forces. Interesting. Medium Jade Falcon assault force. That looks like a straight up fair mission. Large clan attack. Escort a command lance against pirates. As, as fun as escort is, I would like, it would be, I, I'm like kind of excited at the idea of getting a little of clan salvage here on our last day, so. Let's bump this down, bump that up. See if they will let me do this. We'll pull this down even further. There we go. <clears throat> salvage is what you need with the clanners. Okay, so let's go in with the big boys. So now it does make sense to bring your assault mechs in. You leave the Phoenix Hawks at home with Mama. Well, the big boys go into combat in their big boy pants. Um, I think I can take the awesome. Yeah, and then I could go to 60 tons for that last mech. Do I have anything in that range? I do not. All right, Centurion, coming along for the ride, man. Hope you're, hope you're ready. All right. Who wants to dance? I'm sure these guys do. I just got to find them. Yeah, I, you know what? I I noticed the frame rate, rate uh, upgrade. So I don't know if you guys are noticing it, but yeah, I really do. It's uh, it's nice. It's nice to have an improved frame rate on this game. I mean, I I often forget that when you're running it in debug mode, it runs a little slower, and it's like I just get used to it the way it is. Um, but. 
as I say, this is nice. Oh, and yeah, let's kind of go over this way. What do we got here? Gladiator Prime. Land gauze rifles. Oh, I already took one of them down. Ooh, another man of war. I've got one and I would like a second, please. That was pretty good encounter, actually. Straight up unfair against them. Clanners deserve nothing less, though. The clans pretend to be honorable, and they're like, oh, we will 1v1 any Inner Sphere warrior who dares. But meanwhile, they're using mechs that are, like, literally twice as good as any Inner Sphere mech, so it's like, it's easy to 1v1 an opponent when the fix is in, you know what I mean? They're not so honorable as they seem. Oh, we've got them at a sort of pseudo choke point because they were coming around one by one. I am Nikolai Malthus of Clan Jade Falcon. You dare refuse my pajal? It's from uh, the Battletech TV show. First Somerset Strikers. Anyone? Anyone? Boom, that was an easy win. <laughs> Damn it, 50% and we couldn't even get it. Okay, now we have a hard question here. LRM-10. I think we want the ER large laser. It's basically an upgraded form of the ER PPC. Or the medium, no, no, no. ER large laser. I was going to say the ER laser is good too. I lied. We are going to go into the uh, mod bay here. It's mod mech. Who wants to be? We should mod one of our lighter mechs. Since we want to do these escort things. Um, like. Oh, by the way, the cataphract. It has an auto cannon 20. I was able to get five auto cannon 20 ammo. That is a sweet mech. That thing has some punch. The only thing would be that would be better is an Ultra Auto Cannon 20, which I did get. Uh, if we look at my tech for a second. Um, I think I even have a... No, that's, that's, I was going to say, I think I have a Clan Ultra Auto Cannon 20, but no, I just have a, a couple Inner Sphere ones. The problem is I use ammo at twice the speed, and I have barely any Ultra Auto Cannon 20 ammo. I have, those are clan ones. I have four. That's the equivalent of about two normal ones. I'd love to get one more. If I could get five, then maybe I would upgrade that cataphract. <clears throat> but, uh, what do they have for sale? Anything cool? That is a cheap fire starter. Also a cheap Phoenix Hawk. I will take that Phoenix Hawk. Hey, maybe the Phoenix Hawks want a, uh, a clan, uh, ER, oh yeah, they have an ER large laser. 12 and 8. Let's put on the clan ER large laser, which is 12 and 10, and it even weighs less. And I think we also then want to put on the clan ER medium lasers. Take this thing off and put this thing on. And I don't know what else to put on. Maybe a second auto anti missile system? They just use ammo so fast. Oh, how about I think I have ammo for an anti missile? There you go. Might as well do one more. Huh. Interesting. So a lot of anti-missile. Got some clan weaponry on this. I mean, this mech's going to run a little hot. Because this is uh, 5 heat, 7 damage, 12 heat, 4 heat. This extra ER large laser is actually unnecessary. The only problem is if I pull it off, what do I put on instead? Could put 
It's getting too complicated. It's fine. It'll just run a little hot. Um, okay. Let's look for our long-term campaign. Our defensive long-term campaign against clan forces. That is the most fun you can have in the year 30. Oh, it's 3051. We made it. See, time marches on. Time waits for no merc. Time gradually evolves in this game. Quick draw, no. Valkyrie, no. Banshee, no. Annihilator, no. Those are some nice heavy mechs, but again, I want the light ones, baby. This is all just individual missions. A lot of good clan missions, but... We want a fun contract. We're just being very picky. Another Phoenix Hawk, do we dare? Kind of too many. I will take a Wolfhound, though. They're not bad 35-ton mechs. They're sort of like the Steiner version of a Panther. They're very similar, actually. But they actually move faster than the Panther, so it's kind of interesting. Frontline offensive, escort a command lance, frontline combat. I guess, may, you know, maybe we're too close to the front line. Maybe we got to back off a bit. You know where we could go is outreach. They have every kind of mission. We can just see what's going on, who's hiring. A compelling Confederation. Not working for you guys again. <laughs> we all know what happened last time. They bankrupted my company. Grasshopper. Axeman, Hermes. I do like the Axemen there. Not bad. Uh, Donegal. Come on, man. You guys have contracts, don't you? Another Firestarter, Phoenix Hawks. How oh, Steiner loves its Phoenix Hawk mix. Garrison duty. All right, I'm just going to keep bouncing around till we find this thing. And yay, ask and ye shall receive. Planetary defensive campaign. I am down, I am DTC, down to clown. We're going to pull the money back, because it's we've never done this for the money. We've done it for the lulls. Also the salvage. Can this go higher? It cannot. Probably this cannot go any higher. It cannot. All right, that's maxed out. <laughs> um, I feel like I could work with this limit. And we got the contract. Just like that. We're in, guys. Funny, because I said I would, uh, you know, just keep bouncing around literally like two seconds later. I might not even edit it out of the video. <laughs> All right, our good old save game. We are the save scum. We have become save scum. Oh, let me check the console. Okay, no problems. Our save game, she saved correctly. It's time to go in. All right, so... Enemy forces are retreating. We need to intercept them. All right. So we don't want our atlases for this one. Um, okay. So man of war charger. Um, grasshopper. Because it's maneuverable. And so is the cataphract. All right. There's our, our front line. This guy doesn't have jump jets, but I just love the man of war so much. Actually, maybe... To be all jump jets now, I'll, I'll mix it up a bit. Okay, next we have. I think we do want our awesome. Or don't we? We're over tonnage right now. We're going to drop down because we're not bringing 100 ton mechs into this battle. I, I don't even think we'll bring the Banshee. That's a little overkill. Um, okay, so let's Dragonfly. It's so fast, but it's like kind of weak, actually. Um, oh, the Griffins. Okay, Griffin. Oh, and my Phoenix Hawks. Also, you know what? This is an Arctic planet. Perfect planet to run a hot running mech uh, because it will help cool them down. The cold will. Okay, now we're doing good. 
now we can bring some of the heavier guys back in. So, like, who do we have that's good? I'm going to bring my Marauder and my Awesome. Those are the classic J mechs. So my, my perfect mechs. And I already have my Victor. What else do I want to bring? Zeus, no. Orion, no. Archers are okay. I'd love to bring something in this, this jump capable. I guess the catapult. <clears throat> that was pretty good. 775 out of 800. We'll do it. All right. So the enemy is retreating to where? Where are they retreating to? There and there. Oh, and there. And there. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a, a bug. It's supposed to clear those out, so there's only, like, two. So we're actually defending against, like, three uh, or four evac points. I think that makes it significantly harder. <clears throat> but what makes it easier is that we will be able to see the enemies when they run through the snow with their snowy footprints. Uh huh. There they are. Over like this. They seem to be going right through here. Oh nope. Never mind. There we go. Face them down, boys. Enemy reinforcements are inbound. Let's see. Any any fresh footprints? Oh, they're coming up this way this time. Oh, hello. Oh god, they're up there too. Okay, hold on. You go up here. You guys go over here. Start going this way. Oh, they're gonna take out one of my Phoenix Hawks. More enemies incoming. Okay, we got him. I'm going to leave this Phoenix Hawk back. Because it is too beat up to continue. Now it gets tricky to spot the fresh snow footprints because they've kind of run all over the map. Ah, but uh, you can see the ripples in the water. The dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Oh, here they come. Oh, shoot, they're trying to flank us. Okay. Maneuver, maneuver. Keep going, don't let them run past you. I think we got them all, actually. All right, damaged chassis, 15%. Shadowhawk 2C, not meant to be. I don't know how many missions we have, so I'm not going to take a clan ER anything. I think that Phoenix, these two Phoenix Hawks are just out of commission. I won't repair them. But I'll throw some plates on that Victor. All right, what else you got? Reinforcers moving through this region, looking to join up with a larger offensive unit. Okay, another defense. Oh, this is the second of third mission. Okay, so we will swap. Um, I guess the Centurions can have a shot. 
And actually, this Phoenix Hawk is just fine, so I can stay in combat. It's rock. Rock and roll, dude. Okay. It kind of worked out fairly well for us. Positioning here. One, two, three. Let's see if that holds up again. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Give them a second. Now, where are you, you bastards? Oh, there they are. Now, some are going south. Others are going... Oh, and others are split in the middle. Damn, they're... They're going to pull me in all directions, eh? Oh, these guys are all jump capable. Forgot about that. That was by design, right? Okay, he's kind of going up, I think. Lost track of the others. Oh, there's another one. Fenris. There we go. Good job, boys. Just like we practiced. Where's that guy going? He better go up. Oh! He's jump capable! <laughs> we got a jumper. He's making a break for it. I forgot the mechs could do that. Get him! Okay, thank god. Got him. I think another one might have... Yeah, look. One just straight up ran right through town. It's interesting when the, the map doesn't, like, reduce the uh, intercept points. It does get, like, quite challenging to cover the entire map. It's not horrible, actually. Though I guess if it were lucky it's a snow planet, because if it wasn't a snow planet, it might be very difficult to track the enemy, and they totally would just run by you. <clears throat> Another one. All right, down he goes. Another dragonfly. Give this one a Griffin 2C. And my main guys are doing all the fighting. Like my main assault crew here. Anyone else getting by us? <laughs> Alright. There might have been like one other unit that we missed. Um, <clears throat> alright, this is our second last mission. Okay, so that Phoenix Hawk is definitely getting cycled out. The Charger and the Man of War need armor, but there is none. So, much for that plan. So I guess we'll just take some clan technology. Take that too, and I don't want to do this. Alright, what's our last mission? Protecting a key supply depot. Oh, I thought it was a, a convoy. Okay, we're going to do one more convoy mission after this, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, okay, if we're protecting a supply depot, we can just straight up bring in the heavy boys. Bring in the heavies. Banshee. And then let's just pull the Phoenix Hawk, like fully pull it. Oh, we're still over by five tons. It's so annoying. Uh, okay, let's swap a, a Centurion. Or all the Phoenix Hawks are in disrepair. Whatever, a Vulcan. All right, looks good. Rock and roll. All right. So you guys head up there. this 
Oh, we have a Marauder and a Catapult in the same team. I always thought the Catapult was a really cool mech, too. I guess I just have a thing for Chicken Walkers, because I really like the uh, Marauder as well. It was just the coolest looking of the classic mechs. Like, you have the Warhammer, the Battlemaster. Like, they're all really cool looking mechs. Don't get me wrong. Basically, every mech that was in Mech Warrior 1, in my mind, is like a, a, a classic Battletech mech. And it just so happens to be that the Marauder is my favorite out of all of them. Um, oh god. Building. Taking a beating. Back off. Jeez. I think it's gonna go down. I don't know if I can defend this. I'm gonna have to get more aggressive. I'm letting the enemies get too close, I think. Okay. Back off. Woof. Just barely. All right. Marauder 2C? No. Mercury? No. <laughs> you sons of bitches. I guess if it's not a clan mech, I'm not that broken up. Of Although it would be cool to get a Marauder 2C. They are basically like the big brother version of the Marauder. All right. Let's head to a lighter planet so that we can do a lighter escort. Because I feel like... I mean, the escort missions, I think, are fun at all levels, but I think they're really fun. Um, speak of the devil. When uh, they're sort of light to medium. So, all right. Escort, that's what we're going to do. Uh, and let's just use the default, what it's offering us, and let's see how hard it is. With the caveat being that I've got some... Uh, Pretty boss pilot, so how hard can it be? Buy two wolfhounds. Pair them up. All right, last mission of the year. 30, 50, whatever one that we're in. Um, okay, we want maneuverability. Let's create our mana war. I can't believe the charger is like a go-to mech. I mean, I would probably mod this a little. I don't know about an LRM-20. And these pulse lasers, they could be, you know, you could have ER clan. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, <laughs> one more for the road, eh? Where's our, where is it? Uh, a charger? Charger? How many tons is a charger? There it is. Um, okay, let's pull off two medium pulse lasers, and instead, oops, uh, I wanted a clan ER laser. I guess a clan medium pulse is fine. There we go. Pull off this, pull off this, clan ER. Like, we could almost throw on now. So here, let's pull off this medium pulse. Um, we could almost throw on like a clan uh, ER large laser too. Which would be... Oh, we had one. Oh, we put it on the... Um, put it on what you might call it, the uh, Phoenix Hawk. Um, okay, so what other clan... Clan LRM-20, do we have any clan LRM-20 ammo? We have one. Yeah. Gosh, okay, we have six tons free. Oh, I might as well just throw these clan pulse lasers on. So clan upgrade probably does quite a bit more damage. Two extra free tons. Um. Well... This is a blast from the past, but remember when this thing used to have a bunch of small lasers? Clan ER small lasers actually do a fair amount of... They do as much damage as a inner sphere medium laser, but they just have reduced range. So I think their range is, what was it, four? And these are six. So it's actually not that bad. So there you go. I don't know. There's something. I could, I guess, put on one more ton of uh, LRM-20 ammo, but screw it. 
we just made this charger <laughs> we made fun of it so much for having so many small lasers and now we finally have one in the year 3050 and we're putting small lasers back onto it what a topsy-turvy world we live in i if you told me that would happen i never would have believed you okay we have about 200 tons to play with actually we might have to reduce this this might be excessive in fact the banshee is way too excessive it's okay to have a couple of heavies but in fact why don't we make the charger so every lance is going to have its own uh like boss mech so the charger is going to lead a lance for the charger's lance we are going to have a let's see we want fives or sixes the charger is going to be in charge of the phoenix hawks then we will have um wolf hounds that'll be a fun crew and then i guess the fire starter because they're pretty fast and then okay we can't have a few heavier mechs actually no we can't we only have 75 tons left so we can throw the griffin in here and then we got to go like fire starter oh perfect okay an interesting mix i like it though we'll just throw whoever because experience doesn't matter anymore and you 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 and you and because it is our last mission <laughs> i don't want this thing saving or i don't want this thing crashing let's save our game okay save game has been inspected it looks good it's time to crush this convoy's destination will be marked on the map so here we got uh, an apc Croc, two APCs. We got some Griffins and a Wolverine escorting it. Alright, and enemy forces are coming. Trebuchet and a Clint. Oh, and a super fast Wolverines. Alright. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. Stay frosty. Everyone stay together. Don't linger behind. gonna have to sort of keep some units back because i don't want like a lone apc to get picked off all right they're starting to come in hard okay they're coming from a variety of directions it's hard to like cover the oh a pvc or an apc okay no oh we lost an apc one apc is down shit all it takes is a couple of hits. More enemies are incoming, as if this wasn't enough. Is that mine or a bad? That's a bad guy. He's a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy. If you know what I mean. He's kind of a stand-up. What am I fighting? Bandits? Pirates? Oh, this guy went way ahead to scout. I feel like the uh, support crew is kind of leaving the APCs in the lurch. In fact, how many APCs are left? One? We might have failed this mission. So at this point, when you have lost a lot of units, um, you can abandon the mission, but you'll take a big reputation hit, obviously, so it's better to finish it off if you can, but... Okay, there's a lot of enemies coming here. <laughs> We're just gonna go this way, and... Oh my god! Oh, we weren't covering the front! Oh, the convoy was destroyed! Damn. What a fun mission. I'm happy to fail on a mission like that. That was just... That was just fun. The thing is... Battletech is supposed to be fun whether you win or lose. And I mean, obviously you don't want to lose. But uh, I have fun with this game. I mean, again, it feels conceded to be talking like this since i made it but i have fun with this game win or lose I, I think i enjoy it i think it's great and 
You can stop talking it up like that. You be the judge. You be the judge. Guys, thank you for tuning in for our last Let's Battle Mercs for a little while. We may do this again sometime. Um, there's one or two little bugs I noticed in there that still need to be fixed, like the Guardian ECM bugs I did fix. Uh, so the game won't crash for you like that when you play it. Um, but there was one or two small little bugs. The intercept missions weren't properly taking out the, um, uh, taking out the evac zones, leaving it just as two and the other little things, but we'll get that sorted out. Um, and by the time you are watching this video it will be sorted out. The download link for this game is in the description below. Download it, play it, love it, enjoy it, share it, do whatever you want. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy it though. And uh, tune back in soon for our 1001 uh, Let's Play series. It's going to be starting back up. And also, I'll make an announcement sometime soon about that the live stream that I'll do for this game where we will go through the data files. But guys, it has been a blast. No guts, no galaxy indeed. I hope you guys all take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll see you soon. Alrighty, guys. Peace! <laughs>